Hey everyone, so I've got a fun little video for us today. Today we are going to learn how to hook up two different Galaxy tablets to any Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC wirelessly, and they both feature multi-touch and S Pen support. And yes, as you would expect when using two wireless displays connected to one machine, you are gonna have a little bit of latency, but the cool thing is, is this is all free. And uh, it's nice to have in a pinch. I mean, we have three monitors now instead of just one. So let me go ahead and show you how to set this up. So to get the first of your two wireless connections going, all you have to do on one of your Galaxy tablets, and this one does have to be in the Galaxy tablet, is you need to turn on second screen. All right, you're gonna get that little message right there. And then on your Windows 10 or 11 PC, you're gonna press the Windows key plus K at the same time. And that's gonna throw up your wireless casting menu because that's what second screen uses. It uses wireless casting. It's basically part of Miracast. So we're gonna see here that we have Brian's Galaxy Tab S9. Go ahead and press that. Just wait for it to connect here real quick. And then we have this option. See that allowed mice, keyboard, and touch input? You wanna make sure you have that selected. And in case I forget to mention it later in the video, you can customize this particular display experience by pressing the Windows key in P, and that'll allow you to duplicate, extend, show the second screen only, and also disconnect. Now to get your second tablet going, and this doesn't have to be a Galaxy tablet, it can be any Android tablet, but for this to be used as a wireless display with your uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC, you're gonna wanna go out to this website right here, spacedesk.net. So what Space Desk is, is basically just a wireless display uh, basically a driver that runs on your machine here, your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC, and then you have a viewer, basically a client that's going to run over here on the tablet. So we're just going to grab that from the Google Play Store, and then you just install this driver real quick. Here at their driver download page, go ahead and pick your applicable driver, and then uh, go ahead and download that and install it. It just takes a minute. And then here on your tablet, you're just going to go ahead and search for Space Desk in the Galaxy Play Store. Uh, it's a free download and then go ahead and install it. And once you do, go ahead and open that up. And I recently just updated it, so it's letting me know of its features here. We can just go ahead and tell it not to show this message again. All right, so what it has here is basically the viewer is waiting to hear from anything that's uh, basically running the driver. So in this case, we're gonna start the driver up on the Windows PC. So I already have the driver installed. So what you do once you have it installed is go to your start menu and you're gonna look for Space Desk Driver Console. All right, it's right here. We're gonna go ahead and fire that up real quick. And uh, you'll see I have the console off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Give it just a little bit. You can leave it running in the background. You don't have to always go back in here and do this stuff. But notice the second I turn that on, it became an option over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just pick on this real quick. Give that just a second. All right, that kicked on. Now you can see I have two wireless monitors going on. I've got Space Desk over here to the left, and I've got Second Screen over here to the right. And what's cool is we can just minimize all this stuff. We can go right into our display properties. Here we go, display settings, I should say. And uh, of course it loads up over here, how funny. Let's go ahead and move this over here, all right. And we can adjust the orientation so you can kind of move these around. You can see here uh, if we identify real quick, this is one, threes over here, twos over here. So you can mix and match and move these monitors around, change the placement of them, you know, however you want, just like you have any other monitors hooked up to your PC. So yeah, there's a little bit of latency. Um, I would say so far for me, second screen is actually performing just a little bit better than Space Desk. But uh, it all depends on your wireless connection. I'm running wireless 6E. If you're on Wi-Fi 7, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit better. But hey, it works pretty good in a pinch. It's a completely wireless solution and it's a completely free solution. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. Really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.